Two big winners emerged from last night's New Hampshire primary, Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders. Trump managed a commanding win in the still large pack of GOP candidates, while Bernie Sanders beat records, defeating Hillary Clinton by 21 points, the largest margin in a New Hampshire Democratic primary, while also being the first Jewish person to win a presidential primary. So let's compare these two big winners by their speeches. First up, Trump. And Don and Vanessa, thank you so much. And Ivanka, she was out. She made seven stops today at the polling areas. And Jared and Laura and Eric. It's like he's thanking his co-stars in a movie. Did you win an Oscar? Uh, how did Bernie open? Thank you, New Hampshire. Thank you, New Hampshire, right off the bat. Did Trump even thank New Hampshire? We want to thank the people of New Hampshire, right? Finally. Okay, so lay some groundwork. What are your campaigns about overall? Together, we have sent the message that will echo from Wall Street to Washington, from Maine to California. And that is that the government of our great country belongs to all of the people and not just a handful of wealthy campaign contributors and their super PACs. Concise, factual, empowering. How about Trump? We are going to do something so good and so fast and so strong, and the world is going to respect us again. Believe me. Something so good? Can you be uh, more specific? We're going to make the deals for the American people. That's the way it is. Specific. I am going to be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. Remember that. By doing what? We're going to knock the hell out of ISIS. We're going to knock the hell out of them. How? So we're going to take care of the economy. We're going to take care of jobs. We're going to take care of all of the things that I said. Our border, everything, health care, it's going to be so great. So Trump's clueless. Uh, how about Bernie? Any specifics? We're going to raise the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. And we are going to bring pay equity for women. Yes. We are going to make public colleges and universities tuition free. That's great, Bernie, but uh, how are you going to pay for that? I will tell you how we're going to pay for it. We're going to impose a tax on Wall Street speculation. The American people bailed out Wall Street. Now it's Wall Street's time to help the middle class. Sounds good, but there are other issues in this country that just aren't being addressed like climate change. Climate change is real. It is caused by human activity and it is already causing devastating problems in this country and around the world. Sustainable energy. To transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. Healthcare. I believe in a Medicare for all single payer program which will not only guarantee health care for all, but will save the average middle class family thousands of dollars a year in health care costs. Immigration? We must fix our broken immigration system that divides families and create a path toward citizenship for hardworking people who are living in the shadows. Wow, this is fun. Um... The rights of individuals. We must pursue the fight for women's rights, for gay rights, for disability rights. We must, against stronger and stronger opposition, protect the right of a woman to control her own body. Bernie's speech was so comprehensive that it lasted 28 minutes, doubling Trump's speech, which, when you think about it, is a lot, considering Donald spent half the time thanking his relatives. I want to thank my sister, Judge Barry, Marianne, another great sister, Elizabeth, my fantastic brother, Robert, who 
And I want to thank my brother, my late brother, Fred. What a fantastic guy. So, Melania, thank you, honey. Thank you. And Don and Vanessa, thank you so much.